So today what I thought I'd do is I was going to go through the uh, collection I have of men's colognes. It's not so much a collection. I mean, some of them I use personally. The other ones I've got, um, I, I post up for sale on eBay. Um, so I'm going to start off with uh, Eros. I think this is Eros Blue. I'm not sure. It's, uh, um, it's a 50 ml bottle of uh, Eau de Toilette and it's by Yves Rocher and it could be deemed a or it could fall into the category of being a um, unisex fragrance because it's um, got quite a nice citrus space to it. This next one is um, Bulgari Man and it is the olfactory family is a white woody oriental fragrance. The top notes are Cal Calabrian, um, bergamot, violet leaves, lotus flower, and white pear. The heart notes are white wood, vegetal amber, sandalwood, cashmere wood, vetiver, and cypriol. Base notes are resin of benzoin, oliban tonka bean, white honey, and musk. And that is, I think, a 100 ml bottle. Could even be larger than that, as far as I'm concerned. It looks bigger. So this Eau de Parfum is Wall Street by Bond Number no. 9. And <clears throat> it is an aromatic, aquatic fragrance um, that is unisex, both for men and women. Um, it was launched in 2004. Um, the nose behind this fragrance is David Appel. The fragrance features leather, lavender, musk, pistachio, cucumber, lemon, caraway, vetiver, bitter orange, resins, seaweed, and ambergris. The main accords are citrus, aromatic, ozonic, aquatic, and marine. And this is a tester bottle, and I have it posted on eBay. Okay, the name of the cologne is Z Zegna by Irma Gildo Zegna for men. Um, it is the second fragrance for men of the Italian designer Zegna, and it's modern and youthful. It's a bluish bottle of sports design. It's bluish bottle of sports design. It's practical and elegant, and would will sure be liked for, by the younger audience. Um, the fragrance opens in a fresh and fruity notes of bergamot, rosemary, and cassor fruit, blueberries from New Guinea, similar to blueberries, which olfact olfactively resemble red currant, and yellow mirabelle plums. Um, the exotic fruits give a modern green fruity nuance. The spicy heart is of iris, nutmeg, and white pepper. Um, and it announces the arrival of a sensual woodsy notes, warm and natural cashmere wood, patchouli, musk, and oat moss. The perfume was created by Antoine Lee, Pierre Negrin, and Olivier Golatin in 2005. The main accords are fresh, spicy, Woody, citrus, aromatic, and musky. And sorry for all the mispronunciations. <laughs> um, it's an Italian cologne. And I think it's a 100 ml, 100 ml bottle, I think. I'm not sure. So this is uh, Calvin Klein Man. Um, this woody fragrance um, from the house of Calvin Klein was launched in 2007. The name is Simple Man and it is advertised as being a very masculine and sexy perfume. Laurie Singer, the VP of Global Marketing and Cody Prestige, said that Cody Klein Man is intended to be iconic. The perfume starts with a fresh wave of rosemary and citruses, bergamot, mandarin orange, combined with airy notes of violet leaves. The heart is made of bay leaf, nutmeg, mint and incense, and peppermint. The base introduces intense notes of cypress, gayak tree, sandalwood, amber, and musk. Man is packed into the bottle in minimalistic style, CK style. Anne Gottlieb designed this modern perfume. 
Um, and the main accords are fresh, spicy, woody, aromatic, balsamic, and ozonic. I'll give you a closer look at the bottle. Oops, it's all fingerprinty. Oh, I man peed. Okay, this next one is Eau de Cartier Concentré by Cartier, and it is a, a citrus aromatic fragrance um, that is also unisex, both for men and women. Um, it was launched in 2002. The nose behind this fragrance is Christine Nagel. Top notes are coriander and yuzu. Middle notes are violet leaf and lavender. Base notes are cedar, patchouli, and white amber. Uh, the main accords on this is aromatic, citrus, ozonic, fresh, spicy, woody, and aquatic. And the bottle is actually quite attractive. It's, um, you put this down to use the spray. It has kind of a space age feel to it. Um, the back of it is uh, Eau de Concentré. This one I have, um, I'm not sure if I have this posted yet on, on eBay. Um, it is uh, pre-owned. Um, anyways, it's quite a nice fragrance. So this one is uh, Swiss Army by Victorinox, Swiss Army, um, Victorinox Swiss Army. It is a, oh, this is classic, Swiss Army classic. Um, it is a woody aromatic fragrance for man. Um, it was launched in 1997. Uh, the top notes are green notes, yuzu, mint, bergamot, and ginger. The middle notes are rosemary, lavender, violet leaf, idleweiss, and geranium. Base notes are cypress, musk, balsam fir, cedar, and amber. Uh, the main accords are aromatic, fresh, spicy, green, woody, and citrus. Um, from what I've heard on a lot of uh, uh, YouTube videos, um, this gets a lot of compliments. And uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I've got the, the Swiss Army Red for Women, and that actually got quite a bit of compliments. Um, kind of surprised me, but it's, they're also they're both very nice um, colognes. So this is a bit of an oldie. It's uh, Pierre Cardin. It's an aftershave, and it was launched um, by the design house of Pierre Cardin in 1972. Um, it's classified as a refreshing, subtle, and oriental fragrance. Um, it's a masculine scent that possesses a blend of fresh and spicy, a scent that lingers, very male, and it is recommended for romantic wear. Um, this is actually straight on my Disco Day era. Um, I still dab it on every now and then, not too often, but um, it brings back a lot of really good memories from back from the Disco Days. And um, uh, I'll always have this in my collection. Even if this all goes, I'll get another one. It's a good collectible. Okay, okay, so this is a Jo Malone, and um, it's Amber and Lavender. It's an oriental fugary fragrance for men. Um, it was launched in 1995. The notes behind this fragrance is Jo Malone. The top notes are bergamot, lavender, and mint. Middle notes are lily of the valley, clove, and cinnamon. Base notes are myrrh, patchouli, and amber. Um, the main accords are aromatic, fresh spicy, warm spicy, floral, and balsamic. And this is a 100 ml bottle that is uh, posted on eBay, pre-owned, very, very lightly used. So this next one again is another Jo Malone, and it is uh, Nectarine Blossom and Honey by Jo Malone. It's a fruity floral gourmand fragrance for, um, that is unisex both for men and women. 
Um, Nectarine, Blossom and Honey was launched in 2005. The notes behind this fragrance is Joel Malone. The top notes are green notes, black currant and pettigrain. Middle notes are nectarine and black locust. Uh, base notes are vetiver, peach, and plum. The main accords are fruity, sweet, green, powdery, fresh, and woody. And that's a 100 ml bottle. Again, um, very, very lightly used. And I think I have this posted also on eBay. This is another Jo Malone, and it's Lime, Basil, and Mandarin. Um, it's a citrus aromatic fragrance for women and men. Again, another unisex. Um, it was launched in 1999. The nose behind this is Jo Malone. The top notes are lime, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. Middle notes are basil, lilac, iris, and thyme. Base notes are patchouli and vetiver. The main accords are citrus, fresh, spicy, green, aromatic, herbal and woody. So this uh, 30 ml bottle is uh, Blackberry and Bay by Jo Malone and it's a fruity floral fragrance for women. It was launched in 2012. Uh, the fragrance features grapefruit, floral notes, vetiver, cedar, blackberry and bay leaf. The main accords are fruity, citrus, fresh spicy, woody and aromatic. So this is another Jo Malone and it's uh, Vintage Gardenia by Jo Malone and it's a floral fragrance for women. Um, it was launched in 2004. The nose behind this fragrance again is Jo Malone. Um, it features tuberose, sandalwood, gardenia, incense, cardamom and myrrh. And it is a, the main accords on it are white floral, balsamic, tuberose, warm spicy and smoky. And this is a 30 ml bottle that is posted on eBay, in my eBay store. Okay, another Jo Malone. This one is mine, and it is uh, wood, sage, and sea salt cologne. Um, it arrived in the market in September 2014, and... Uh, the composition of this new fragrance, just like its name suggests, is composed of amberet seed, sea salt, and sage, along with algae and grapefruit. Um, it was created with the intention to evoke the feeling of pleasure, freedom, and escape into nature, inspired by the unique and quality of British beach, with an aim to reflect the whole idea of photos and of the advertising campaign uh, which were taken in, oh, forget all that. Um, let's see. The main accords on this is citrus, marine, salty, musky, and aromatic. Uh, yes, this is my own personal cologne, and I absolutely love it. Okay, this is uh, Jo Malone's uh, English Pear and Freesia, and... Let's see, the nuances of freesia and pear are very complex since the right pears were necessary to achieve a certain note to sound unique in composition of the fragrance. Um, the, the, base compos the base of the composition is created um, of green, fresh, and sour nuances of rhubarb along with warm and subtle aromas of patchouli, amber, and white musk that stay in a in a trail. Uh, it came out in 2010. Um, the main accords are fruity, floral, sweet, rose, and aquatic. This is the last Jo Malone. Um, again, it's uh, just a smaller version of the uh, Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. And this is in a 30 ml bottle and it's got about that much left in the bottle. And this is, I think this is also posted on eBay for sale. On my eBay store. Okay, this one is uh, Montel, Montel Paris, um, Red Oud, and it was launched in 2008 as uh, one of the collection of six new fragrances by Montel. Montel, um, the this miraculous gourmand oud 
is mixed with red pepper and spicy aromas of saffron and cumin, followed by orris root, Haitian vetiver, and saddle, sandalwood touched by sweet spices. Uh, the nose behind this fragrance is Pierre Montal. Um, the main accords are oud, woody, warm, spicy, rose, and fresh spicy. Um, when I picked this up, the guy that originally had owned it um, said it just didn't suit him. He found it a little bit too feminine, and when I smelt it, I just I absolutely fell in love. It was going to be something I was going to be um, buying and then reselling, but I've decided to keep it. It's that nice. Um, I actually happen to really like the Montel collection. So this is a 100 ml bottle, and... Yeah, it's quite quite nice with all the, the stopper. Pretty cool. This is another Montal Paris uh, Oud Velvet. Um, it's a floral woody musk fragrance for women and men, so it's uh, unisex. And um, the top notes are African orange flower, ylang ylang, and tiere flower. Middle notes are agar wood, that's the oud. Base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, and tonka bean. Um, the main accords on this are white floral, oud, sweet, woody, and vanilla. Um, the woman that I purchased this from said that um, she just found it, it was too dark for her skin. And um, she didn't really, although she liked a lot of oud fragrances, she just didn't find that this one suited her. Um, I actually haven't sprayed it. I've sniffed it through the through the uh, little hole here but um, it's almost it's almost full but it's got you know it's dented and stuff like that she said she had it on her dresser for quite a while so um, I'm actually thinking of reselling that but I'm gonna hold on until I make the decision whether I want to keep it or not for myself although I do have quite quite a few fragrances um I don't really know if I need to keep collecting um, just on the basis of me liking a fragrance. Uh, I already have too many at, at this point. So anyways, uh, moving on. Okay, I'm probably going to screw all of this up. <laughs> um, this is uh, Aqua di Parma Blue Mediterraneo uh, Man Mandorlo di Sicilia. Um, it was presented in 1999 as an oriental floral unisex um, fragrance. The top notes bring the touches of Sicily with um, sweet freshness of bergamot united with frangipangi, frangipangi flower, um, orange blossom, green almond, and star anise. The heart introduces the note of white peach, coffee greens, and white jasmine. The base is composed of velvety and powdery bourbon vanilla, um, light musk, cedar, and milky warm sandalwood. It is um, available in a 60 ml bottle. This is, I guess this is a 60 ml bottle. Um, the main accords are almond, vanilla, sweet, fruity, powdery, and nutty. I actually picked this up um, probably two weeks ago and I've been using it every single day. I just absolutely love it. Um, I love sort of the, the sweetness, the powdery, um, just absolutely in love with it and so I have decided to keep it for myself a very good purchase okay this was uh, one that I had I bought two fragrances from the Labo and this was Bergamot 22 I guess I'll put them both out Bergamot 22 and Gaillac 10 um, the Bergamot is a woody aromatic fragrance for both men and women, and it was launched in 2006. Uh, it features amber, musk, grapefruit, vetiver, pedigree, bergamot, vanilla, orange, blossom, and cedar. And the main accords are woody, citrus woody, aromatic, fresh, spicy, and green. I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, as far as... Uh, Gaiac 10 Tokyo, it's a Tokyo exclusive. Um, it's a woody fragrance, um, both uh, again for men and women. And it was launched in 2008. 
It features musk, guyac wood, cedar, and ole olibanum. It is uh, woody, musky, balsamic, smoky, and powdery. This one is uh, the top for me, and bergamot is second. And as you see, I'm running low on them, so I'm kind of hardly ever using them at this point. So this is just an oldie. It's a Navigator um, by Dana. It was launched in 1996. Um, the top, top notes are citrus, juniper, sun-dried linen accord. Heart notes are lavender, nutmeg, patchouli. Base notes are woody, amber, vetiver, musks, sandalwood, and tonka bean. This is Blue Jeans by Versace. It's um, a classic masculine fragrance with woody citrus notes, um, a spicy heart, and a warm dry down. The top notes are composed of bergamot, lemon, anise, basil, and palisander tree, geran geranium, rose, lavender, jasmine, sage, heliotrope, and lily are at its heart, and the dry down contains notes of iris, sandalwood, vetiver, musk, patchouli, tonka bean, vanilla, and amber. It was created in 1994, and the nose behind this fragrance is Jean-Pierre Bethuart. Bethuart. Um, main accords are ar aromatic, fresh, spicy, woody, floral, and citrus. So this is Benetton Sport Man by Benetton. It's a woody aromatic fragrance for men. Um, it was launched in 2001. The top notes are clementine, lime, grapefruit, lemon, and mint. Middle notes are cyclamen, geranium, and ginger flower. The base notes are sandalwood, oak, mo oak moss, um, vetiver, cedar, and musk. Uh, main accords are fresh, spicy, aromatic, woody, and green. This is a fairly new acquisition. It's Canali by Canali Man. It's a woody floral musk fragrance for men. Um, it was launched in 2005. It's also discontinued. Um, the notes behind this fragrance is Pierre Bourdon. Um, top notes are orange, nutmeg, pineapple, coriander, mandarin, mandarin orange, apple, bergamot, and cardamom. The middle notes are orange blossom, lily, violet and jasmine. The base notes are leather, iris, sandalwood, tonka bean, musk, vetiver, and cedar. Main accords are citrus, woody, sweet, powdery, and a white floral. This I have on eBay as well. This is a fairly new acquisition as well. It's Cedrant and Rivant, and Yvrant by Atelier Cologne. It is a citrus aromatic fragrance for women and men. Um, it was launched in 2013. The top notes are citron, lime, and bergamot. Middle notes are mint, basil, and juniper berries. Base notes are tonka bean, vetiver, and alem alemi. Um, main cores are citrus, aromatic, fresh, spicy, green, and woody. And it is a uh, Cologne Absolu. This is a 200 ml bottle. As you see, there's that much left. I have it posted on eBay, along with another um, another Atlier Cologne, which is next. This one is uh, Orange Sanguine, and it belongs to the Absolute collection um, of colognes. It is a uh, refreshing and energetic fragrance of fresh fruits laid on a sensual oriental base. It contains notes of red orange, bitter orange, jasmine, geranium from South Africa, uh, amber, tonka bean, and sandalwood. Um, it was uh, launched in 2010 and the nose behind this is Ralph Schwager. Uh, main accords are citrus, sweet, fresh, spicy, aromatic, and fruity. And this too is um, also unisex as far as I know. Although some women do find it to be a little bit more um, masculine. 
So this one is Periellus, uh, named Periellus uh, for men. And the motto is, be very like Perry. The aim of this fragrance is to highlight tradition and accentuate spontaneity. Um, let's see. The composition is signed by perfumer of the house, Give a Don, Claude Deere. It opens up with a sense of bitter orange, cardamom, coriander, and clary sage. The heart incorporates fir tree, mint, cedar, and lavender on the base of sandalwood, and patchouli and white moss worn by tonka beans, amber, and musk. Um, the fragrance is envisaged as a reflection of Perriella's style and represents the modern free-spirited man. It um, arrived on the market August 1st, 2013. Um, it's aromatic, woody, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, citrus, and balsamic. It's pre-owned as well. It's, it comes up to about here. And that, I haven't posted that one on eBay as of yet. So I found this one. It's, uh, I figured it out. It's called Diesel, Only the Brave um, by Diesel. Uh, the glass is uh, a man's fist. So it could also go like, like that. Bauer. Um, somebody actually took off the diesel logo. I guess it was the little plastic uh, textual logo they ha have there. Anyways, um, it's a fragrance for all men who choose to be heroes. Um, its composition introduces a harmony of oriental woody notes that leave a strong impression. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you the main accords, and that's citrus, amber, leather, animal, animalic, animalic, powdery, and balsamic. And I think that's a 50 ml bottle. I'm not sure. Yeah, 50 ml. Anyways, that one, I haven't posted that one on eBay yet either. I will be, though, eventually. Maybe I'll be doing a lot on the, uh, the lesser value dumb colognes. Check it out. So this one is Prada Amber Pour Home. It's the first Prada fragrance launched after the female one. Um, it's also in Orion, Oriental composition based upon Amber. Um, let's see. It's a refreshing citrusy top of bergamot, mandarin, neroli, and cardamom. Leather. Leather is the note present at the base of the composition. Leather, saffron, and sandalwood. Um, it was created by Daniela Roche Andreer and oh, Prada. Um, the main accords are warm, spicy, balsamic, aromatic, citrus, and leather. This is Le Par Kenzo Pour Home by Kenzo. Um, it is an ar aromatic aquatic fragrance for men, and it was launched in 1999. The notes behind this fragrance is Olivier Cresp. The top notes are yuzu, lemon, <clears throat> and green pepper. Middle notes are lotus, green notes, water mint, and water notes. Base notes are white musk and cedar. The main accords are citrus, green, aquatic, aromatic, fresh, spicy, and floral. I always seem to keep it laying down this way. Um, and I think I, ha I do have this on eBay. I'm not sure. Um, I should have it on eBay. Anyways, uh, next. So this is White Money. Um, it's a new Altamoda for him, Eau de Toilette. Um, I'm just going to read this. It says the scent. This Eau de Toilette is an invitation to escape sunny, sandy horizons. White Money is a voluptuous, tangy, rosemary-tinted citrus scent mingled with salty aquatic notes and aerial flowers. A sharp 
persimmon note adds a touch of a sparkling color to the woody aromas and cedar with their warm musk overtone, undertones. This fragrance is for the contemporary man seeking high true self and harmony with nature uh, in a quest for genuine natural beauty. Wow, that's quite a bit to, uh, to sell all in one bottle. Anyways, I guess this stuff is like, you know, really going quite, quite cheaply. Um, I guess it's not all that well known. Uh, I've got a almost full bottle of it. I'll, pr I'll probably end up putting that in a lot um, on eBay at some point with some of the uh, the other other brands that have uh, fallen in price. Anyways, on to the next one. I'll probably mess the pronunciation on this one, but um, Esprit de Roy. It is a Penhaligon um, fragrance that's unisex. Um, it was originally created in 1983 and. Uh, returns as a lush woody citrus, heady with spiraling scented foliage. Fresh tomato leaf, mint, and raspberry leaf are combined with rich florals, warm woods, and potent musks to create this masterpiece of contrast. On the head, it's citrus accord, bergamot, mandarin, cedrat, mint, tomato leaf, divana essence, edelhides, cardamom absolute, the heart is clove, Egyptian geranium, Madagascan ylang ylang, jasmine honeysuckle. The base is vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, raspberry absolute, white musk, ambergris, oakwood moss, I mean oak moss, African stone. Um, it was launched in 2011 and the nose behind this is Bertrand Dusha four, Dusha four. Um, the main accords are aromatic, citrus, green, woody, and fresh, spicy. For me, I find it to be a very clean, kind of soapy fragrance. And I originally bought it for resale, but smelt it, fell in love with it. I love all the Penhaligon fragrances, so this one is in my collection. And I wear it um, fairly often, especially when I want to have that that really, you know, first thing in the morning, you know, real soapy, clean kind of smell. And it does stay with me um, for most of the day. Check out Penhaligons. They have excellent fragrances. So this straight up is another, it's a perfume in the line of splash fragrances that were presented in 2009. Uh, lemon by Marc Jacobs. Um, <clears throat> it is created uh, in the aroma of lemon and sunny citruses which are refreshing and vitalizing. Italian lemon, mandarin and honeysuckle create sweet and fresh aromas adding musk, white vetiver and spring water. The base notes incorporate warm amber. It's actually quite a fresh um, fragrance. Uh, it's very, the main accords are citrus, aquatic, fresh, aromatic and musky. Uh, this is a 300 ml bottle and as you can see there's quite a bit left and I do have this one posted on on eBay. So this one here is, uh, has a very nice presentation. It's a Cordovan Man by um, Banana Republic and it's a woody aromatic fragrance for men and it features fig leaf, nutmeg, leather, bergamot, lavender, iris, vetiver and juniper. The main accords are fresh, spicy, aromatic, woody, leather and green. Um, this is the presentation. Solid wood, um, it has these magnets, solid wood uh, box and very nice, very, very nice. This one I haven't posted on eBay as of yet. Um, the price is pretty low, so I'm just, I actually like it, and I guess if I ever meet somebody, it'd be something nice to give to somebody. So I'm going to go through the rest of these fairly fast um, because they are boxed. I can't, um, I mean, I'm not going to bother going and, you know, researching what what they are. So 
you guys can do that yourself. Um, this is Burberry um, for men. It's an aftershave, 100 ml bottle, uh, still plastic wrapped. Um, anyways, uh, next one is One Million by Paco Rabanne. Um, it's a 200 ml bottle. It's actually quite large. Um, these are all on eBay. This one I actually got a bid on, so it'll be gone this weekend. Uh, Givenchy Pour Home Blue Label. It's an eau de toilette, 100 ml bottle, uh, still in box. Um, that's these are all going on to eBay at some point, or are on eBay already. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy Hilfiger spray. Uh, it's, it's a, it's for men. That one's going. Um, I have Delmar, Baldessarani. I guess I could open this one up so you guys can see what this one looks like. Very attractive. Um, very attractive uh, bottle. Let's see, going, let's see, going next. Uh, oops, get my man back here. Get back, everything's falling apart. This one is Kenneth Cole's signature, um, 100 ml bottle, inbox. These ones I've really thought about. Um, don't know if I, I mean, I've never actually opened or opened the bottles to spray them. Um, I just figured since I love this one so much, and this one didn't come in a box. Um, the only reason I bought it was because I, I thought I had, oh, I do have, oh, no, I don't have it. I thought I had it in the box, and I figured, well, if I could buy it out of the box and cheap, why not? really damn good deal. Um, tempted to keep these for myself. I've always been tempted to keep these for myself. Um, this one is Fico di Almafi. Uh, this one is Merto di Paneria. And these are both unisex. And that's the only reason I thought I'd keep it for myself because I, I love unisex. And I still, I'm still considering, I mean, one right now has got somebody watching it on eBay. Um, Eventually, I might just actually pull them off and keep them for myself because I do love that one so much. Um, this one here, Le DC um, Pour Home Intense. That one's still wrapped up in the cellophane. Uh, that's on eBay. Then we have the from the Olfact Olfactive Studio. Um, Chabre Noir. Um, this one is actually mine. It's very sort of powdery, sweet vanilla, caramel. I love it. I do wear it. Um, I am not selling it. It. This is a. Uh, this was a unisex cologne. Then last couple ones are just. Um, Let's see, Crabtree and Evelyn. It's a travel set, West Indian lime. Uh, it's a gift set. I haven't actually posted this on eBay. Um, I might though. I might eventually. It's got hair and body wash. It's um, aftershave balm, cologne, and shaving cream. This is another set. It's Armand Bassi in blue. Oh, let me see. Take this out. Armand Bassi in blue. Plastic. Uh, it's a cologne and aftershave balm. Oops. Cologne and aftershave balm. <sighs> what does it say? Anything in the back? It just. Uh, hmm. Can't. Oh. Pure forms, joint the color, the architecture elements, and create a masculine and vanguardistic design. The fragrance Southern is based on citric, spice, and woody notes. 
there you have it. Deep blue. Then, of course, I have um, roots for him. Let me see, go up a bit. Roots for him. It's in its own plastic case. It's a uh, deodorant and I guess the the cologne. And then last but not least is this huge honkin' Paco Roban. I mean it's huge, 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 huge. Huge. That one is, oh, how many mils is this one? It's an eau de toilette. Uh, Paco Roban, Por Home. Um, if I can show you, I'll put this aside. I'll show you what a 100 mil um, bottle looks beside it. That's it. So now you can kind of figure that one out. This is huge. It is um, hmm, 1,000 mils or 33.8 fluid ounces. And that I have posted on eBay. There's um, It goes right up to here. So a very small amount has been taken out. And it is um, it's a splash. Better be a splash. It's huge. Anyways, uh, that is it for the men's collection. Um, for eBay, I, I'll put I'll put it down below. Um, what my eBay store is called. Um, I do not lowball on the prices. I um, I keep it pretty standard to what is going because I do take a lot of time in going out and. Um, uh, sourcing these these items a lot of them a lot of the perfumes that I have I I find a lot of perfumes that are discontinued um, uh, or very very expensive and I do spend quite a bit of money on them so when I put them out there I put them out there to help myself to make a living anyways uh, thank you for watching and Leave your comments below. Don't go on about, oh, you don't know this. You don't know how to pronounce that. Because I'm not a professional. Um, I've only started collecting maybe um, maybe four years ago or so. So, And I do have a huge collection. And I'm getting more knowledgeable. And I know exactly what I like as far as the fragrance goes. Um, men's fragrances, I'm not too, too savvy on. Um, Anyways, uh, that's it. Goodbye.